Hey guys, it's John from GameDevHQ.com and today we are going to be checking out a coding challenge from Filebase. This will be a new series solving some of these challenges. On so inside of Filebase, not only will you find over 5,000 unique and growing game assets that are yours to keep and you can download, um, but you'll also find in here over a hundred unique coding challenges and growing. Um, and these are basically Unity packages that you can download into Unity and it's designed to turn you into an excellent software engineer using the Unity platform. And you'll see here we have pro challenges that go all the way into difficulty of medium and hard challenges here. So there's over a hundred unique ones and pages of them. So we're going to start off at the very beginning and all you have to do here is I'm just going to download the ASL one and launch. So click this download button, import it, and then simply click the blue launch button and it's going to launch a scene file that may have some text instruction. However, if we actually look at some of these more advanced ones here, you'll see here that uh, some of them will actually have a completed environment, maybe some game assets in it. So for example, the Automation King. Let's check this out. We launch that, you'll see here it comes with a pre-made scene and some scripts and things like that that you have to work with. So each challenge is unique and different and we're adding challenges all of the time. So we'll go back to the download of the ASL here, import that and we'll launch that up. All right, so when you're solving these coding challenges, the idea behind this is that you're testing yourself as a developer, you're solving problems, there's no YouTube video that can help you and it's all about breaking these problems down to their smallest form. So this is a pretty easy program for most of you, right? It's just an ASL application that's gonna print out my location, sex, and age. And if we read this, it says create a program that allows you to enter your age, sex, and location into the inspector. When you press the space key, it should print out the values. So what we need to be able to do here is identify how many problems we have and begin solving them. So here I'm just gonna create a new C-sharp script for the ASL challenge. And we'll attach this over to our main camera. So select the main camera, let's attach that script. Now in here, you'll see here that basically it's asking me to create a program that allows you to enter your age, sex, and location. Now, when we approach a programming problem, whether it's video games or beyond gaming, it really doesn't matter, right? Game development, software engineering, enterprise apps, it's all the same. The logic that we apply to solving problems in video games carry over seamlessly to the enterprise world. And my program, the concept of score, the concept of points in a video game, the concept of speed, those don't exist. You as a programmer are defining those concepts. Just like the concept of age, sex, location, that means nothing to my program. Me as a programmer have to define what those are. So here I can declare what an age represents, which is a number. So I'm going to say private int age. And then here for the location, that is a string representation of a location. And then from there, we have the sex, so ASL, and that is going to be represented also as a string or a character, right? So here we have our sex. Now, if I save this, nothing's gonna happen here in the inspector because it's private. So we'll add a serialized field attribute above each of these. And this would allow us to then add those into the inspector here, just like the instructions are requesting. So here my age is 27, I'm male, my location is Honolulu. All right, so let's go ahead here and check out what's next. So I declared my variables, and then it says here, when you press the space key, it should print out the values. All right, easy enough. When I hit the space key, right? So if space, print values, pretty easy. We'll create our if statement. I check for input and we'll hit the space key. So you hit the space key and then we're going to just print the values. So here I'm just gonna say, hey, debug.log. And it wants us to print it out in a sentence here. Example, print 25M Atlanta. So all I have to do here is just say, okay, 25, which is my age, plus the sex, plus add some space, and then here the location. And this is going to print out just fine. If we run this, you'll see here that we completed this challenge and now we can move on to the next one. So let's test it out. You'll see in the console here, it does not say anything. Let's make sure we added the script. And when I hit the space key, 
There we go. 27M Honolulu. All right, so everything works great. There is something else we could actually do here. There is a better syntax for this now using C Sharp 6.0 and up, uh, which I believe is to use the dollar sign symbol with our question quotation mark here. So here I'm basically gonna say, you know, I could type out a sentence saying my age is, and then here inside of these brackets, I could put my age. My age is that, and let's see, my age is 25, and I'm a, we'll say male. So we're gonna say, sex within here and this is going to just allow us to structure our sentence better right so my age is 27 and I'm a male and I live in what's we'll say Honolulu so here is location so the idea here is we don't want to hard code any of this as a software engineer we want to make sure that we're not creating immutable strings which means that they can't change we want to make sure that things are modular and dynamic. So if I change these values later on and I reprint them out, then it will, it will adapt to that. All right, let's save this, test it out, make sure it still works. If you'd like to download a version of FileBase to give these, we have over a dozen challenges for free. And if you'd like access to the premium ones, which actually have more completed scenes and more exciting challenges and they get harder with each difficulty, um, check out a subscription to Filebase. You can sign up for your first year uh, in the description. So here, let's test this out and everything works. So if you guys like this, let me know what you think in the comments if you wanna see more Unity coding challenge videos.